Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2x minus 8. And we're going to do it two ways. We'll do a table of values here, and then we'll use slope-intercept form. So for the table of values, I'm just going to make some numbers up that I think will show up on the graph here. You can put any numbers in for x, get a value for y. It'll be on our lines somewhere. So why don't we start out with 0? 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 8 gives us a negative 8. How about 1? 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 8, negative 6, and I'm going to choose 4, because 2 times 4 is 8, and then 8 minus 8 is 0. So those are the points. Now we can just put them on our graph, and we should have our line. x is 0, y is negative 8. x is 1, y is negative 6, right there. And you can get away with doing two points. Probably better to do three, though. X is four, and Y is zero. And there you have it. That's our line. Let's put a line through there. And then we'll put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. That's the line for Y equals 2X minus 8. So let's do slope-intercept form. So Y equals MX plus B. B is the Y-intercept, and that's negative 8. So we're just going to go over to the y-axis, and find the y-intercept. That's negative 8, and it's actually on the one we had before, and that happens sometimes. Then the slope, instead of 2, we're going to call it 2 over 1. It's still 2, but what we can do now is we can call the 2 rise, and then the 1, we can call that run, rise over run. Then we go to our y-intercept. We rise 1, 2, run 1. Rise 1, 2, run 1, and you can just keep doing this, and you can see all of these points there on our line here for y equals 2x minus 8. And that's it. That's the line for y equals 2x minus 8 using a table of values, and we also used slope-intercept form. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.